you see today the industry, the way it is moving, how do you constantly adapt yourself to these such high-paced changing environment and uh, keep the organizational context core to it and uh, move your HR practices in pace to that, constantly evolve around it. Um, that requires agility, that requires forward-looking thought, that requires a vision, his ability to predict you know, what the future can look like for just not the short term, mid term and long term. I think that's the interesting space to be for in HR. So I don't say that as a challenge, I see that as an opportunity. I have a lot of inspirations in life. Uh, role model, I would say, would always be my parents. Born and brought up in an army environment, father being an you know, army uh, officer. Um, there are certain intrinsic values that get embedded and got embedded, right? It's part of the DNA. And I guess um, some of it reflects the probably, you know, I have seen myself in my career in the personal life. My favorite one is work-life balance. And I am not able to understand this concept yet. And to my mind, I'm just thinking that work is just an extension of life. It's not to be seen as a very uh, separate one. So uh, my personal thought is that if you create that balance inside the organization by meaningful work and engaged workforce, I think it just blends in seamlessly, right? So that is, I think, you know, is a complete uh, myth to me. Meditation, my favorite. I mean, I can meditate at any point in time, anywhere, and just zone in in that. And it's extremely important because, you know, some of the intrinsic motivation comes in when you are very calm and you really need to have that balance inside yourself to balance yourself to the outside uh, noise and chaos. I'll be in media. I'll be, uh, be a news anchor. Uh, somewhere in childhood, I probably dreamt about it and my father was okay with that. Um, and if not that, then some profession in media because that's I'm very, very excited and get, uh, you know, very attached to. For me personally, I believe if you talk to an employee and that person is forthcoming to give ideas, that person is always raising that hand, his, his or her hand uh, to contribute, to talk about new things, bringing perspective. It's a very engaged employee and that's the best indicator that you can have in the organization uh, to say that yes, you have a very engaged workforce.